Welcome back to my virtual over the road trucking adventure in Texas. This is part of the Exploring Texas series. And today we are starting where we left off last time, which was in Texarkana. I've got a load book. We're going to go pick it up right now. And then we'll talk about where that load is going. And we'll go from there. I am pulling a flatbed trailer today. Turn right. So we'll be able to straight. Yeah, yeah. See the load. I am of course driving my Kenworth T680. Pretty early in the morning, 7.15 a.m. or 7.10, okay, now it's right. 7.15. Right. Right. This is basically the same truck that I drove over the road. Same model, similar year. And... I guess that's it. Just gotta wait for this light to change so we can turn right. And we're picking up just right around the corner. If we could ever get through. This is not a world of trucks load, so I will have to check in for it. You have arrived at your destination. We have arrived at our destination. Let's see, clicking on thing. There we go. We are taking a load of trees to Tyler. Distance of 141 miles. And there's where we're going in, but we can't make that turn, so we'll just go around. And back in. It's tempting to try to pull through. Because, as I often say, never pull through when you, or never back in when you can pull through. But, that is too tight a turn. Might be able to make it, but...
Alright, let's get loaded. How heavy? Not very heavy at all. 6,600 pounds. Three and a half tons. Not heavy at all. See that pickup truck start to come in here and disappear? That was crazy. all the way across the street. That is the loudest lawnmower in the world. Well, you know, every one of those. Let's see. I didn't talk about the route we're taking. Oh, looks like we're going to head south down US Highway 59. And then head west on Interstate 20. Alrighty. Go straight. We've got our BTT logo on that truck truck there. That's interesting. Red light, red light. You know, somebody posted a comment recently that they thought that there was trucks were hitting red lights too much. It's not like real life. And I would say, no, it is like real life. Because when I was driving in real life, I continually hit one red light after another in town reason for that is that the lights, the timing of the lights is geared towards cars and small trucks. They can, they can get moving quicker. Trucks, not big trucks like this, not so much. So frequently cars next to me would get through and I'd get stuck at the next light. And that's just a reality for truckers. Driving in town. That's happened to me 
every time I'm driving in town, almost every time I've been driving in town. Unless the red, you know, the traffic light has a longer timing on it, I would invariably get caught at almost every one as I'm driving through town. There are exceptions to that. So if you get aggravated, if you're driving ATS and you get aggravated because you keep, keep getting caught at red lights, I feel your pain. But it's real. I'm gonna pull into this rest area here. because we need any rest. Go straight. I want to do something. Got us a hidden road here. Left. One of the, uh, one of the people I, one of our members, on, um, uh, convoyed with, uh, why I'm even signaling. So traffic back here. There's a tree in the way, just like the trees I have. Well, bigger than the ones I have. You shall not pass. <laughs> Watch me. Who's been here with a logging truck? Really? Really, really? Well, some folks at SCS have a sense of humor. Nice little detour.
we're back on our way. What do we got here? 83 miles? Reckon I should signal. Much farther away now. Should stay in my lane, right? Well, you can probably hear me hitting the rumble strip, but I can feel it in my steering wheel. Just like real life. Pretty cool. on the left side of the freeway there. Keep left, and then turn left. Nice if we could make it through this light. Turn left. Well, these guys would hurry up. Oh, 
I yanked back on my steering wheel and ripped it right off my desk. What is up with that guy? He had it made. What's up with my steering wheel? that a little better later. No, now you're gonna go on a red? Wow. Uh, I wasn't turning left up here. I'd go around this guy on the right. Let's see if I can fix this better. I guess we'll have to wait till we get to the receiver up here to fix this better. delivered to a bunch of these and I have even done it some of my real life trucking video uh, vlogs you have arrived at your destination yep yep at least they've got a loading dock all the ones that I like this that I went to oh, yeah they didn't have a loading dock like this they had a portable dock they brought out and pushed up against the back of my trailer. against oh it's the curb oh sure rolling up on that well let's just get unloaded going up on that edge of that curb I need to get some repairs. There's a repair shop right there. Right on down the road. I don't need fuel. I got fuel before I started today. And of course, I didn't go very far. Here's that hidden road just south of Texarkana, US 59. You turn in to this rest area here, either, I guess you turn across going north. But anyway, if you go in this entrance here, you can go straight. And that will take you to, well, go on down to the hidden road, as you saw. Anyway, let's go get some repairs done on the truck.
You hear that hissing sound? That's the uh, pressure relief valve kicking in and releasing some of that built up air pressure. Turn left. Uh, let's see. That was my brake release. Took my foot off the brake. <clears throat> the brakes use air. So it's a pneumatic system. Really? So is the shifting. Well, not the shifting, but the certain parts of it are. I go from uh, high range to low or low range to high. I can't hear it now. I'm having some shifting issues today. You have arrived at your destination. Barely. Get that fixed. Well, it's not much. The fireware. All right, I want to show you something. Got to release the brakes first. That sound is what happens when I push in the, the brake release and now the air charges up all the tanks between the truck and the trailer. And they store air. That just released a big chunk of air. All right, look at my my air pressure gauge on the right. It's the second one from the lower right. You can see the little needle should be building up, getting close to well, it's close, getting close to 125 psi. As soon as it hits 125, it's going to release some of that pressure. Going to make that noise. Right there. Psst. I used to scare to be Jesus out of kitty. He hated that sound because it was abrupt and random and he didn't like it. Loud. Poor kitty. Okay, let's see. Got repairs. I think we're going to wrap it up there. Let's look at the map again. So, Texarkana to Tyler. We have some other towns. Before we finish Texas, we got uh, San Angelo. Where's San Angelo? Right here. We've been through it, but we've not delivered to it. McAllen down here at the uh, border. Huntsville and Galveston. So when we come back next time catch one of those either directly or indirectly I don't know it's getting tough to find loads to these different cities turn this off right here and we support Wyoming businesses 
looking at that billboard up there. Yeah, that's great. That's billboard sign belongs in Wyoming. Not Texas. Okay, that's going to do it. Thanks for riding along. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and share this video. There's a link to share right down below the play window. Um, share it on Facebook, Twitter, or, or email it to 10 friends, whatever. <laughs> Spread the word. Let's get more people watching. All right, that's going to do it for now. See you later.